Welcome. Another one just eat us. A Serap sues Buhari's government in Ecowas court seeks 50 million naira compensation for each victims and family on the Kaduna train attack. Let's get more details. Serap lamented Buhari's government's failure to protect the rights to life, security and dignity of the victims of the Abuja Kaduna train attack and the failure to secure the safe release of those held captive by the terrorists. The Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, Serap, has filed a lawsuit against the government of President Muhammad Dupari for failing to prevent a recent attack on a Kaduna-bound train by terrorists and protect its victims. Serap lamented Buhari's government's failure to protect the rights to life, security and dignity of the victims of the Abuja Kaduna train attack and the failure to secure the safe release of those held captive by the terrorists. Terrorists had on March 28 attacked the AK-9 Abuja to Kaduna train, killing at least nine people, wounding several others and abducting an unknown number of passengers. The victims have remained with the terrorists for over a month, despite repeated appeals for the government to free them from captivity. The suit followed reports that the Federal Executive Council FEC failed to approve funds for surveillance equipment that could have helped to prevent the train attack. In the suit filed last week before the ECOWAS Court of Justice in Abuja, Serap is seeking a declaration that the train attack, abductions and killings of passengers by terrorists amount to a failure by the government to protect Nigerians and to prevent these grave human rights violations. Serap is also seeking an order directing the Buhari government to protect, promote and fulfill the human rights of Nigerians, including travelers across the country, by ensuring adequate security and taking measures to prevent attacks. The group also wants an order directing the Buhari government to urgently find and identify all the passengers, victims and their families and to pay adequate monetary compensation of 15 million naira to each of the passengers and victims and also their families. In the so far together with an application for expedite hearing, Serap is arguing that the Buhari government has a legal duty to protect individuals from real and immediate risks to their lives and security caused by the actions of third parties such as the terrorists. According to the group, a fundamental notion of contemporary human rights law is that victims of violations such as the victims of the Abuja Cardinal train attack enjoy an independent right to effective remedies. Rights without remedies are ineffectual, rendering illusory the government's duty to protect such rights. The suit filed on behalf of Sarah by its lawyers, Kola Wale Oluwadari and Okpayami Oola be read in part. The Buhari government is under illegal obligations to protect the life of every citizen in the country. Remedies logically should be proportionate to the gravity of the harm or violations caused by the government and its agents, or by terrorists or unknown perpetrators. Human life has a special value and dignity, which requires legal protection. It is the principle of international law and even the general conception of law that any breach of an engagement involves an obligation to make reparation. The officials of the Buhari government has publicly stated that they knew or had information that an attack on the train was imminent, but the government failed and neglected to take measures to prevent the train attack. The government will still be held accountable for failings or neglecting to guarantee and protect human rights, regardless of whether such violations are directly or indirectly attributable to the government or its officials. The Buhari government has an obligation to protect and promote the rights to life, security and dignity. This obligation means that the government must create an enabling environment that facilitates the enjoyment of this right by the people. The failure of the Buhari government to protect and guarantee the right to life, security, liberty and dignity of the passengers and victims of the train attack violates the provisions of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights and the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights to which Nigeria is a state party. The Buhari government and the Nigeria Railroad Corporation had ignored several warnings in the past to take preventive measures to provide adequate security for the train services and to suspend rail services. 
to prevent attack by terrorists and to ensure the security and safety of passengers. No date has been fixed for the hearing of the application for the expanded hearing and the substantive suit. Well, we can see that the social economic, um, they are suing the Buhari government. Because, quite all right, a lot of people are, are in support of this because they are saying that nothing is being done to bring those people that were abducted home. We know that they abducted a, a, a whole number of people. That time they said 146 persons were missing and nothing is being done to find where they are. And even after the, the terrorists sent a message to, to the Buhari's government saying that the government knows what they want and that the only way they would release this, um, uh, the, uh, the people that they had in their custody is if they, they do what they want the government to do. But the government has been putting on like a difficult attitude towards these um, insecurities in Nigeria. We saw what happened in the Abuja Katuna train attack. We saw people lose their wives, husbands, their friends, their loved ones. Just recently, the girl, Dr. Chinelo, a doctor who was meant to leave the country um, some days after um, before her death. We can, you, can, you can see that she, she, she was just buried recently and it was, it was all tears. People were crying because she was a young soul, someone that had a life ahead. Of her and no amount of compensation will bring back a child for her but at least i feel they should be compensated because the government are doing nothing to bring these people back home we expect them to be carrying out measures to make sure that these people will be brought back home and before this attack we saw aisha buhari come on social media and she put a, a quote from the quran saying that they should pray for nigeria and that was a day before this incident took place, which made a lot of people um, question if Aisha Buhari had the first-hand information of what was going to happen. And according to the people, the the, the association suing the Buhari government, they said that they knew that the government and the and the railway corporation knew that something was going to happen, but that no measures were taken to to prevent it. They, they still left people to board that train and at the end of the day some people lost their lives some people were severely injured some people are missing and some people were abducted it's really crazy to see that our government doesn't care about us so if suing them is the only way for for the government to open their eyes and see the wrong they've done then let them sue them because a lot of people have been saying that it is better for them to be sued and because People saw that nothing was done to make sure that they are fighting to bring these people home. Buhari has been quiet, a lot of insecurities. The question now brings to say, what is being done? Nothing. Those people are still out there suffering with their abductors. And that is why the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, Serap, decided to file a suit against the government of President Muhammadu Buhari because they failed to prevent the, the attack that happened. And even if they could not prevent it, nothing is being done to bring these people back home. No measures, nothing, no, no oppression is done to bring these people back home. Why, why, why is there silence? Why is there no, no action? They say action speaks louder than words. You, you can make a comment and say, oh, they are trying and all. Oh, but what is the action you people are taking? Nothing is being done. Nothing is being done. And to see that these, these people are, are waiting for their, for their loved ones to come back home. You see families praying that nothing happens to their children. You, you, you see mothers playing, praying that nothing happens to their children. You see wives praying nothing happens to their husbands. You see husbands praying nothing happens to their wife. You see, you see their loved ones begging the government to try and do something to bring them back. And that is why Serap decided to act. Because they are like, we can't keep quiet while this is going on. So they decided to file a suit against the government of Mama Dubuhari at ECOWAS. So people, tell me what you feel about this. Do you think that the Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project was right in suing the government? Or do you think there should be another way for them to make the government act in, in, in accordance 
Well, do not forget to hit the like button and tell me what you feel. Flood my commentation. Tell me everything about you, about how you feel about this news that is reaching you right now. And if you're just joining us for the first time, do not forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and also share. Thank you.